Hey guys, it's Grady here for Grady's Garage. Today we're going to talk about a pre-trip inspection on a trailer. We're going to go over some features that the truck has for that, that purpose alone. So every new truck that we have has a what we call a light check button um, on the freight liners. It's right in the middle of your dash. So we're going to click that button, turn our key on, and every light's going to flash simultaneously. So we're going to have brake lights, clearance lights. So we're going to have brake lights, clearance lights, headlights, marker lights, everything. So every time we hook to a trailer, we're going to do this. So we're going to come out here and we're going to look up top to make sure our top lights are flashing. We're going to walk down the side, we're going to look at the frame rail. We're going to check our landing gear, make sure nothing's hanging loose, there's no bolts broke. Come by here, we're going to make sure our placards are still on. We're going to check our clearance lights, our marker lights here. So you can see it's going through its motion now. It's, going to, it's got the marker light on and it's going to flash. So now we know that light's good. So we can go back here. We want to stick our head under to look at, look at the brake shoes. So we want to make sure we got plenty of meat on our brake shoes still. And then we're going to go through. I'm going to use my foot because I don't have a hammer. And we're going to thump our tires. If we got a tire that sounds like it's dead or a dud, it's flat. As you can see on this unit, we got a, a mud flap falling off, so we're going to repair that here. Uh, if you run into that while at uh, one of our drop lots, we can either fix it here, Fleet Masters in Effingham, Decatur Trailer in Decatur, or um, I-57 in Wasika. Those are the three vendor, the vendors we use at our drop lots. Around here, we're going to check our outside clearance light. It's on, it's working. Then we're going to look up and check our top clearance lights, our tail lights. We've got the outer running light ring. They're working. Going to make sure our license plate's in good condition. We've got to check our tape. This is actual DOT tape, so we've got to make sure that it is in good shape. We're going to check our door latches, our handles. We're just going to make sure everything's in good shape. Go around this side. Again, we're going to check our tires. We're going to kick, do a visual inspection. We've already checked our brakes, so we know that those are good. Come through here. We're going to keep walking all the way down this rail. Check everything. Uh, a good thing to practice is to check placards. Um, there might be one in here that's not, that uh, is messed up. So always go through these. So you're just going to check everything. Just to make sure everything's good, nothing's bent. You can read everything, and then when we go through it, we'll just close it, close it back up, and we'll finish our inspection. Make sure our skirting isn't falling off. It looks like it's in good shape. Once again, we're going to check the landing gear on this side. Make sure nothing's falling off. Check the rail. Make sure there's not any missing rivets, anything like that. Check the placards on the front. Do a visual inspection on our lights up top, make sure that they're flashing and on. And that's the basic rundown of a pre-trip inspection on a trailer. It's really important we do those because uh, if we catch an issue before we have to leave, uh, it helps the guy that you're, that's going to pick up the trailer after you drop it. And it just saves, down, you know, saves time and uh, money because it's cheaper to get it done at one of our vendors than it is to have it done on the road. So just keep that in mind when you do your pre-trip. Everything on there. You know, we covered about everything. DOT inspections, if there's a sticker and you're not sure about it, there's a hard copy in every single trailer in the document box. So there's no, there's always going to be a form of DOT inspection and a registration in there. So there's no issues there. But yeah, just a visual inspection, make sure everything looks good. Uh, your tires sound good, make sure tires are got tread on them. It's 230 seconds on trailer tires is the legal limit. We like to change them around four just to give us that leeway. It's been the first episode of Grady's Garage. We appreciate you guys checking in.